Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 9 of Total War Warhammer. Just looking at one of the tips that somebody gave me in the comments to the first or second video. And it's actually quite a good tip and that was regarding the actual uh, Orc Empires. Try and only be at war with like one or two of them at once because this is something that I always struggled with in other Total War games. It's very expensive to have more than one army. Sometimes you can get away with two, but three or more is usually very impractical because they are just so expensive. And that makes it very, very difficult to try and sort of hold your borders on more than one direction. And your army also moves very, very slowly around. Now, I'm currently at war with three different factions. We, we did manage to wipe out the Bloody Spears, but we've still got the Greenskins, the Red Fangs, and the Top Knots. That's potentially three different empires that can all come and attack me, which is not fantastic. Border Princes still wouldn't be uh, willing to get a trade, would they? They don't like me and it's deteriorating. That's a shame. Now, the thing is, I could probably wipe some of these guys out. We've got some... Well, these are greenskin now. These weren't greenskin before. These were actually um, bloody spears. Now, one of the reasons why I've not specifically gone for these... Um, particular ones. Well, not really uh, Oakenhammer up here, but the reason I didn't go for Mount Gunbad is because this one is an actual fort, which would mean a siege. And these are, these are tough to do. I mean, if we actually look at Mount Gunbad there, I mean, these two um, places, Grand Peak and Mount Gunbad, are all uh, one province. But if we go and have a look at the garrisons here, okay, Grand Peak's not so bad, but look at the size of the garrison for Mount Gunbad. I mean, that that's going to be a, a tough uh, a tough nut to crack. But maybe we could try and wipe out some of the others that we have around. We've got Black Crag here. Black Crag now is also owned by the Greenskins. Now, Squeak Horn, we've got something we can build here. I've got a feeling I was saving up for something because I don't really have an awful lot of money, so we'll probably have to wait on that one. Our income's not terrible. Now, we do own Iron Rock and Caragdron, but Black Crag, how much of a garrison have you got? See, that's that's a hefty garrison, and it's owned by the Greenskins as well. So, at some point, we will have to think about taking that out. We could come down here to Valley of Sorrow. And again, two of the settlements down here are owned by Top Knots. Two of them are owned by Greenskins. I mean, they are getting wiped out. We are going to have to deal with them at some point. Top lots are down here a little bit, but green skin's definitely encroaching onto our territory. So let's have a look and see what we can do then. We've got our army over here. We've still got all of our movement left. We're also sort of fully healed. So the question is, do we want to go and attempt to attack something? Well, I think we probably do, but whichever one we go for is going to be tricky. I would like to try and take Black Crag. Maybe we could give that a go and see if a siege is even possible. Let's start by getting ourselves down to uh, Iron Rock. And we'll end the turn there because there's not a huge amount that we can do. A lot of it depends on the army they have nearby. If it's just the garrison, we might be able to manage that. What have we got here? Somebody is um, in my territory. You are a... You're Red Fangs, are you? That's interesting. And you are a pretty crap yes. army. Can we get to you? Not quite. Maybe we can. Maybe we can get close enough that you can't actually escape. See, forced march is not so great because you, you're tired as soon as you get there. Aye, grudges will be settled. What is unthinkable? For the wisdom of Valea. No. A yeah, but we mistake. can't actually get there. They shouldn't be able to engage us. Or they well. should be able to engage is what I'm saying. They shouldn't be able to get away. We'll have a look and see what happens. Population surplus in River Valley. Construction depot is completed. Do we want to increase anything? Oh, we've got so many buildings waiting to be built now. And we just don't have the, uh, the money. What I'd like to do over here is get this upgraded to level two and that needs three thousand so we'll have to wait on that one a little bit uh one thing we don't have here is an armory we could get one of those it'd also well we're not going to be able to get the uh, hall of oaths here anyway what else could we potentially get 
get a trading depot. Don't think we really need that here right now. We'd also get another trinket maker, get some more income. I mean, it's relatively cheap to build and it would pay for itself quite quickly. We do have a free slot down here. Let's go ahead and do that then. Might help us out. And um, you guys need to continue down to Iron Rock. Which has got a little bit of a problem with some um, public order. But we'll end the turn. We'll see what happens with that army. There is another army nearby, but I'm not terribly worried about them. Actually, a few greenskin armies around. Maybe we just go for some open battles instead of trying to siege forts and things. A top knot war. Ground shakes and the mountains tremble, but this is no earthquake. Something far more deadly approaches a war. The warriors of... What's this one? Uh, Dring... Dringo Rackers. Ready their weapons for the top knot's tribe will show no mercy. What would Grundni do? A Reckoner has approached, requiring guidance on how to settle a dispute between two clans. Both are claiming ownership of a mine. One has remained loyal to you for centuries, and the other has opposed many of your edicts. Give it to the loyalist clan. Income from mines, gold mines, and stone quarries plus 10%. Give it to the opposing clan. Diplomatic relations with Carrick Hearn. Do we want 10%? No, we're, we're making decent uh, income. We'll give it to the opposing clan. We'll try and get some reputation. We can get a new um, tech here. Call upon the oaths of old. Recruitment cost reduction for long beards. That'd be nice. Cheaper upkeep for artillery would also be nice. Superior black powder. Missile damage for thunderers. We don't have any thunderers yet. Unit experience for quarrelers and thunderers could be nice. Let's have a quick look again in the sort of uh, civil civic tree. Diplomatic relations with all factions. That could be useful. Get some more trade going. Although I do like trying to build up my um, my army a little bit. Let's actually go for the uh, extra reputation though. I think that'll be quite useful. So the question is, can we chase down any of these armies? Those guys properly gave us the slit there. And we can't actually reach them and I don't want them to get away. We are starting to take attrition. So, if we go for Forced March... Yeah, we can't initiate battle if we Force March. These guys, that's a big army. So, we'd prefer not to deal with that. Let's go and put you guys over there. And put you in camp where you'll be safe, not taking attrition. I'm going to try and take those guys down later. We'll put you in there for a turn as well. Let's let them come to us a little bit. Let's put ourselves in a position where we can actually deal with these guys. Looks like you're sending a unit down there to try and block them off or intercept them. Yeah, you're backing off a little bit. I'm not going to be able to catch you, unfortunately. But that's fine. A cloaked stranger from the mist-shrouded land of Albion approaches with a request. He is... A he is of sinister aspect, but assures you his intentions are good. Grant the request. Chaos corruption plus four in all provinces for 3,000 in the treasury. Or refuse this creature and get safeguard reduction. We, I don't want the money. I've already got 3,000 in the bank and we're gaining 1,000 per turn. So we can go ahead and what I want to do over here is upgrade this to the level two one. So we'll get a bigger garrison. Do we also want to build anything additional over here? we we'll probably get the armory later on or something like that. Get long beards, quarrelers, slayers. Ah, long beards with great weapons, dwarf warriors with great weapons. Yeah, we need to get an armory over in our main province. What about some... Um, yeah, these are the building slots a lot. What have we got down here that we could do? We, we could do it getting Barrett Var, really, but I don't really want to go to war with those guys. Do have some construction slots down here that we could use. How much growth are we getting? Not a huge amount. We do have some surplus. Because we don't have an awful lot of money. Get a powder haul. Slayer Shrine. Hmm. We'll give that one some thought. 
So can we not chase those armies down? Looks like you guys might end up losing down here. We'll just uh, we'll skip another turn and see what happens. It looks like you guys are actually engaging. That's a greenskin army. We might be able to come out and attack them there if they're weak enough. This is only our secondary army though. Um, Crag the linchpin. Uh, income from mines, iron mines, gold mines and stone quarries plus 15% local region. That is quite a nice thing to have. Looks like he's gained a rank as well. Carrick Norn and Carrick Hearn have negotiated a peace. Let us make sure we go to our main army and give you your upgrade. So what do we want to give you here, one of these things? So more cooldown to rune abilities or reduction of enemy winds of magic power reserve. I mean, the green skins do use magic, so reducing the amount of magic they can use is definitely not a bad choice. You haven't quite leveled up yet. No, you don't have a spare skill point. It does actually show you on there in terms of color. Character skills, battle skills, campaign skills. So this army here then, you are, you are just a single... Um, a single unit there. Time for a reckoning. I could go and engage you, couldn't I? Or 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 can I not? Can I not engage you there? Not by me. Apparently not. I wouldn't. Uh, that must be just like a hero then. It's not an actual army that I can. Um, yeah, big. Big Boss must be a hero, so I can't actually engage him to fight, which is a shame. He shouldn't have come out of there, really, but we can get back quite easily. I don't think he's going to cause much of a problem. He's going to try and, like, damage a building or something. No, he's just running through, actually. Quite surprising. He's messing around with stuff. He's trying to cause problems. I mean, we could go and do the same if we wanted to. Um, let's get you guys back in here. We really need to build this army up a little bit more, actually. Um, expensive to grab some of these ones from afar. But um, we could definitely do with getting a few quarrelers in this. It'll take a few turns as well, but it's worth queuing up. Now, the question is, do I want to go and try and do any damage to Black Crag? We could try and scout it out. If we go and take um, Crag the Linchpin, we can go and have a, have a look around and see what we can find. Because he is one of our heroes. We'll go and have a look and see what we can find. Uh, modifies the chance of enemy hero actions against local settlements minus 15. We'll, we'll deploy him while, while he's here. We'll end the turn. So yeah, we can't engage him directly because he's just a hero. He's not an actual army. Which is a little bit weird. You think if you could, they should be hidden on the map, really. And if you see them, you should be able to do something to them. Uh, population surplus in Death Pass. The construction of the guard hall is complete, and we've researched a new technology. That guard hall's going to be absolutely fantastic for us. So you can see now, this we've now got walls here now. So this is going to be a lot harder if the um, Greenskins decide to try and attack, because it's got walls. And you'll also see that the garrison now is much better than it was before. Um, so we could build something new over here. I'm going to vote for getting ourselves... We can't get the armor yet because we don't have nearly enough money, so we'll wait on that. In terms of tech, um, reduced uh, cost for long beards. Or do I want that... Actually, I want the extra experience for quarrelers. Can we change that? Yeah, let's get the extra experience for quarrelers because our quarrelers are still doing very well. Um... Yep, that's fine. Let's get you over in here and we can sort of have a look at what is going on. Gosh, then. Right click to act. Damage settlement. 50-50 chance to damage the settlement and cost us 625 gold. might be worth trying as a 40% chance will fail and a 10% chance will be wounded ah we actually succeeded we've successfully infiltrated the settlement and um, we've now got um, campaign movement range plus 10% what did we actually manage to do to the settlement oh look we've damaged every single building in there 
Now, does that do anything to the garrison? Unfortunately not. Um, did that give you a point to spend? It did indeed. And that, that campaign movement is, is a free one. Weapon strength plus 3% versus green skins. Charge bonus plus 2%. Why do we have charge? I mean, we're not... Um, we don't have cavalry. Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Yes. Take that one. Got some sort of combat ability now. Uh, let's end the turn again. I might just have to bite the bullet and just attempt to, to attack that and see if it's possible. There's no point saving up money as the dwarves, because from what it seems, every time we get up to 5,000, we lose some more. Uh, units recruited. We've got our grudge throwers for our secondary army, so that is good. Um, now, can we do can we do more stuff to this? I want to select you. So we can try and damage the settlement again. Our chance of succeeding has actually gone up. Let's give it another go. We actually failed. He didn't get wounded, though. And he did get some experience, even though he failed in doing it. So that's good. As long as he doesn't get, sort of, you know, injured, we're fine. Okay, got some green skins moving in now. That's a little worrying. Now, they are taking attrition. So that's fine. Don't really think we can reach them, though. A lot of armies seem to be sort of all moving in here, which is not a good thing, is it? Still can't reach you, unfortunately. Well, you just keep taking your attrition. Um, let's go and grab you again. Let's give this another go. Um, try and damage that settlement. We'll try it again. Another success. Fantastic. So what have we done there? Yeah, they're all still, still damaged. Unfortunately, it's not really doing anything against their, um... What have they got? They've got trolls. They've got rock lobbers. You know, that's, that's a pretty decent garrison. I'm scared to, to even attempt to attack that, to be honest. What are our current objectives? Um... Yeah. Ah, oh, that's what I was looking for. Chapter objectives. So, occupy, loot, and raise or sack five different settlements. We need to do two more there. Recruit the following hero, Runesmith. We do technically have one. Build a foundry. Um, complete eight grudges. And complete the main quest chain. I'd like to be able to chase those guys down. I just don't think we've got the movement range to get to any of them. I'm not sure what's going on over here. Let's, um... Oh, we've actually uh, gained a, uh, a skill up again. Nice. Good way to get skill points, just spending a little bit of gold every turn. What's that one? The Room of Grimnir. Missile resistance plus 10%. That's not bad. We can go into these things, though. Rune of Striking. Melee attack plus 6. Weapon strength plus 6. Melee defense or charge bonus. And melee attack plus 6 will be fantastic. Thank you very much. This guy's getting some decent stuff now. Right, let's try and end that turn again, then. What are all these green skin armies doing running around here? They're all looking fairly weak anyway. I've got to go and do a battle. We need to do a fight somewhere. A grudge too far. The enemy has wronged us. But writing the grudge will cost us deeply. Perhaps too deeply. Maybe just this once we should ignore the slight and focus on the grander objective. So right the wrong. We get additional recruitment cost but more leadership. I think we'll do right the wrong, actually. Um, I don't know, they're, they're both the same. Leadership plus six, recruitment cost plus five. So they both seem to have the same thing. Well, we'll, we'll right the wrong. I'm sure it'll lead to something else. Yeah, we've de declared a war on one of... No, no, that wasn't us declaring the war. No, that was somebody else. All right, that's fine. Um... Still got some money coming in. Do we want to try and get you to damage this thing again? It'd only be useful if it actually did something significant to the place and made it easier for us to actually attack it. 
So we could come down here and try and grab one of uh, these places, but then it'll, it's most likely just going to get attacked by the green skins. I don't want to spread too far right now. One thing we haven't looked at for a little while is diplomacy. Um, because we did get those uh, techs that should increase our... No, is that going up? No, it's still going down. Relations are still going down. Just trying to get a few more trade deals with people if we can. Definitely need to get something done here. I want to build that armory and I can't afford it. Let's go and end another turn. Lots of movement on the uh, campaign map right now. I just don't... I have a habit in Total War games of really sort of spreading myself too thinly and ending up in a position where I just start losing territory behind me. And look how many greenskin armies there are down here as well. Right, the migration. The Great Migration comes to our board, is demanding shelter from the larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross into our territory or turn them away? So we can either be gone, do nothing, or we can welcome them, which gives cheaper recruitment costs, 15 growth in all provinces, and minus three public order. We can welcome them. The public order isn't an issue right at the moment. Right, we have 4,000 um, gold. So we can go ahead and build ourselves the armory. And we need another tech now. Is there any of these things? What do these lead into? Empower the guilds. Commandment. Additional 15 growth. Public order in all provinces. Public order in all provinces. Could be useful, but not really needed. Plus 5 leadership and plus 3 melee defense from all embedded heroes and lords. Yes. Anything that gives us... Um, reduces our chance of breaking in battle is going to be good. Now, what else can you do down here? We don't have any money at the moment. If we deploy you... Reduces the amount of chaos and vampiric corruption in the local province. Well, that's not our province. We don't really care about that. We could go down here and try and do some stuff. We can go and try and sabotage armies. I'd love to be able to take Black Crag. Because Black Crag is like the one province that I need to try and... Um, unify this one because i have everything else but maybe we'll give that a go and do it in the next video i'm not going to do it now because we are at the 20 minute mark so i think i might go in and just see if it's possible is this army at full strength well, it will be if we go and put um put crag back into it so that's what we're going to do on the next video we're going to try and attack black crag i think and see how that goes. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Total War Warhammer. Apologies that there was no battle in this video, but it certainly was more of a sort of a strategic getting everything into position, trying to get some techs up and make sure our income sorted and stuff. But let's go and have a fight on the next one. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.